this is my office. Now, this is where uh, Brezhnev and I had our summit. Yeah, Brezhnev was there. And Gromyko there to bring him there. We talked for nine hours straight. Yeah. After the meeting, as a souvenir of the visit, I remember that we had a, uh, a Lincoln, specially made, dark blue, cherry wood, leather. Well, we got inside for the photographers. When the next thing you know, he steps on the gas. Now, the first rule of political life is you never let a president get behind the wheel of a car, ever. I mean, we're not used to doing anything for ourselves, let alone drive. And the chairman, geez, the way he put his foot down, my guess is the last thing he drove was a tractor on some Ukrainian potato farm. <laughs> <laughs> he, he crashed into curbs, he went over speed bumps, he went twice around my whole estate. Finally, we ended up some remote point on the coast, out there, overlooking the sea. He turns off the gas and he talks for two hours about his favorite subject, steel mills. He said, Mr. President, most politicians have tragedy in their early lives. Well, I told him that I lost two brothers to tuberculosis. And he watched his father die from the cancer he caught in the steelworks. He was a sad man. And a noble adversary. I wouldn't want to be a Russian leader. They never know when they're being taped. Okay, that's that's that, huh? Until March. I look forward to it. Oh, thank you, Mr. President. So do I. You know, it's a funny thing that I've never been uh, challenged to a duel before. <laughs> I guess that's what this is. Yeah, well, not really. Of course it is. And I like that. No holds barred, eh? No holds barred. <laughs>